ED and ING adjectives. Hey guys, I'm Kerry. Welcome to my channel. The focus of this lesson is ED and ING adjectives. In English, there are many adjectives that end in ED or ING. Yes, that's correct. ED and ING endings are not only used for verbs. Adjectives that end in ED, example bored, interested, and adjectives that end in ING, example boring, interesting, are often confused. An adjective that ends in ing is used to describe the characteristic of a person, a thing, or a situation. An adjective that ends in ed is used to describe a feeling, or how a person feels, or an emotion. It is used to describe a temporary thing. Since only people and some animals have feelings, ED adjectives cannot be used to describe an object or situation. So, recap. Adjectives that end in ED generally describe emotions. They tell us how people feel. I was so bored in that lesson, I almost fell asleep. Adjectives that end in ing generally describe the thing that causes the emotion. A boring lesson makes you feel bored. Boring lesson. Lesson is the thing that causes the emotion. Compare the difference. My best friend is bored. Meaning, my best friend feels bored. My best friend is boring. Meaning, my best friend is a boring person. See the difference? Be careful. You can use these adjectives to describe people or situations, but be careful that you're using the correct adjective for example there is a big difference in meaning between i am confused as in i don't understand something and i am confusing meaning i will cause you to be confused see the difference so we have to be very mindful all right mm -hmm. Note that the following sentences are to highlight the difference between the two types of adjectives. They are not common to do or say because they sound repetitive. All right? So this is just for our learning, but please don't use them in daily speech or writing. I was shocked by how shocking the accident was last night. See the difference? They were frightened by the frightening roller coaster ride. See the difference? I am annoyed by how annoying that person in front of us is. See the difference? Sally was confused by the confusing street signs in the city. See the difference? There is quite a long list of adjectives ending in ed and ing in English and most of them are based on a verb that can be changed into an adjective by adding either ed or ing. 
Some of the more common ones include Alarmed, alarming, aggravated, aggravating, amused, amusing, annoyed, annoying, astonished, astonishing, astounded, astounding, bored, boring, captivated, captivating, challenged, challenging, charmed, charming, comforted, comforting, confused, confusing, convinced, Convincing, depressed, depressing, disappointed, disappointing, discouraged, discouraging, disgusted, disgusting, distressed, distressing, disturbed, disturbing, embarrassed, embarrassing, encouraged, encouraging, entertained, entertaining, excited, exciting, Exhausted, exhausting, fascinated, fascinating, frightened, frightening, frustrated, frustrating, fulfilled, fulfilling, gratified, gratifying, inspired, inspiring, insulted, insulting, interested, interesting, moved, moving, overwhelmed, Overwhelming, perplexed, perplexing, pleased, pleasing, relaxed, relaxing, relieved, relieving, satisfied, satisfying, shocked, shocking, sickened, sickening, soothed, soothing, surprise, surprising, tempted, tempting, terrified, Terrifying, threatened, threatening, thrilled, thrilling, tired, tiring, touched, touching, troubled, troubling, unsettled, unsettling, worried, worrying. Here are a few more examples. This grammar lesson is boring. I am bored reading all about these grammar rules. <laughs> I am tired right now. My flight was tiring because it was a 12 hour flight. Public toilets are usually disgusting. I am disgusted by the smell in some of them. Your speech was very inspiring. I am now inspired to do wonderful things with my life. And there we have it. Hopefully you guys now understand the difference between ED and ING adjectives. And if you like this video, please like this video. And don't be shy. If you have not yet subscribed, please do. We are happy to have you join the family, the Gram Squad family. We do appreciate you joining us and be sure to hit the notification bell so that you'll be informed whenever I upload new content. Until then, stay grammarous. Bye, bye, bye. Mwah. Ha, 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 ha.